It's frequently the case in OCALC that you will receive from the field uh, units of measure that aren't the units of measure that the system wants you to enter into it. Um, so for ex natively it takes inches, decimal inches, and decimal feet. And those are a little difficult to work with sometimes. So let's go through a shortcut of how does one actually more conveniently enter some data of that sort. So let's take a look at this cross arm, right? And it says it's, let's say I want to set it at 26 feet, 7 inches. So if I say 26 and then give it a foot mark, and then say 7, and then I can optionally give it the double quote for inches, but I don't have to. Under the covers, it automatically converts that value um, into decimal feet, which is the units that this attribute happens to be in. Similarly, let's take a look at the horizontal offset value of this insulator. It's 45 inches, but let's say I measured as 1 foot 3. Um, it automatically converts it. Now it knows that I need to convert that into inches. And it goes ahead and does that. Um, It'll even do the same trick with yards. So, for example, let's say I have my span length, and somebody sent it to me and told me that it's actually it's actually 22 yards, 1 foot, 3 inches. It'll automatically just do all that conversion for you. So you can see that's a very convenient way to enter values and not have to do all the mental gyrations to figure out how to get it from the units that might have been sent to you in the from a person in the field or that you might have measured yourself using a tape measure or some other device and get it into the units that the system is expecting. Now obviously in this example this only works for English units. There's similar functionality for metric units.